we are cooking fish today i know it's been a long time i've done the cooking video so i thought this evening i would show you guys very quick way i've been enjoying my fish i think this is called titus and that is what i'm going to be cooking this evening they're super easy and very quick to cook if i'm honest actually the first thing i'm doing here is to clean out the guts you know the yamanyama and the men they're inside i'm just trying to get rid of all those things and they are really really important if not you just be eating dirty stuff inside your fish so you want to get the inside all clean and um, that's the first stage of the cleaning this is the second stage i'm going to add some salt and i'm also going to be adding some lemon juice since when i've been doing this method i find out that the fresh i said the fresh the fish um kind of tastes very fresh i'm not a fan of fish but I'm not, I've noticed when I do this with the fish, it, you know, it tastes, it, it, it gets sense, it corrects more, it, it tastes really, really nice and you don't have to um, worry about the dead stuff inside. As well as fish, I'm just going to be adding a little bit of pomo, you guys know me, I can eat pomo with anything. This is optional, you don't have to do this, but I am adding pomo to my fish so let's start seasoning i want to do very typical authentic yoruba ish kind of stew that's why i'm adding all the seasoning you can add what any other season that you want so i've also added water because sometimes i mean most time fish don't produce water so i need the water to also kind of um cook the omo so i'm gonna leave that there to cook I'm going to start doing the sauce that because that's going to go with the fish. So with this, I've just put onions, a lot of them, pepper, because I want the pepper to be very spicy. I don't really eat spice like that, but I really want this one to be doing small, small. <laughs> so I really, really wanted a very typical Yoruba people kind of um fish thing so i've added iru if you don't like iru when you blend it you literally don't see it it just gives it the aroma so this is the fish here already i mean you don't have to do it like this but while i was cooking i was like oh why can't i just grill the fish you guys know that fish intends to break when you put them in the sauce so i didn't want the breakage to happen so i grilled it now i have poured my tomato paste with the momo and i'm going to let it continue cooking i mean you I know the pomo was i mean the fish was going to cook faster than the pomo so i just wanted everything to still be together and i am going to cover it and leave it to cook for a while this is like midway into cooking the sauce and i'm going to add my ipo just wanted the mommy cooking so you know just a tiny bit of it well, not a lot it, it just reminds me of when elderly people or older people are cooking so i've left that over there to be doing his own thing then i've put my rice on the fire personally i like to um parboil my rice before i um cook it so i'm going to add onions and also add some oil with it you don't have to do this but if you know about the rice and cooking rice with onion and oil please give this video a big thumbs up because you just did the, the taste here is so different you also don't forget to put your salt i did put salt so if you guys don't see so that's my fish ready can you see the sauce as cook you want it so thick that even if you put just one tiny nini on top of your rice it's going to be <clears throat> it's gonna be tasosoy. So I'm now transferring the fish. Right now I have I have in mind that the fish will not scatter inside the stew. So you're gonna put the fish and let them everything just you know soak. So can you sense the thickness? Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> so that is that for the rice is ready. Can you guys hear the sound of the rice? I'm so excited to eat this. The boys are downstairs playing and it's not 
what's the time Seth? me i want to eat first <laughs> okay, it's literally 5 30 now so the plane outside is a very hot i mean it's always been hot in the uk hallelujah for the weather we just have a food you need to position yourself the position is really really important and you don't need to drink too much stuff just water and ice cold chill water well, what do i need to watch i need to find something to but this is the mouth. i want to dig i want to dig into the fish let me continue eating i'll come back Good evening guys, it's the next day and today's day the soup is going to finish. The only thing that is kind of upsetting me now is that I don't have a way to do in the freezer. I have poured some water inside this, I've even made the eba. This is the leftover, I don't like to keep fish for so long. So this is what we're going to use to eat dinner tonight. The other thing don't steam up all. So this is it, we're going to use it to eat eba like that. The eba is ready. Let me turn this off. The eba is ready. I'm just waiting for the boys to come in and eat. We're gonna use that to eat that. And over. I'm gonna eat eba with them. Some of us will just finish that sauce. So let me go and get them. Should I get this soup out so it can be cold? Not cold, but um, I think one of my neighbors just had a baby because that baby can cry. Can cry. <laughs> Anyways, let me get going. So right here i'm so sorry the video is not that long and also we forgot to kind of end the video that is what i'm here to say thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you guys will be trying it out it was giving me very authentic obey i don't know if you are still but it's one of those two that you can use to eat you know rice you can also you know pour water inside <laughs> and losing the this thing and just use it to eat and um, Right now, the soup has actually finished. Well, that's how I like it. I don't like food to take, especially fish, to stay long. So it was really, really nice. I hope you guys are actually having a very good weekend. And hopefully you guys um, will try the recipe out. Thank you guys so much. Oh, especially the rice with the onions and oil. Amazing. It tastes really, really, really nice. Amazing. Oh, I keep saying amazing. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.